It's worth knocking on a few doors, that's all I'm saying. Trigger wasn't killed because you want to plant a few trees and fix a few roofs in London. Looks less like a meal for crows in here. Eivor, you bring good findings, I hope? A few sheets of vellum, notes between members of a secret society. The Order of the Ancients, they are called. Order of the Ancients? Doesn't sound any bells in this head. What's the purpose? That would take some time to explain. But know this, that I am here to kill them. In London, it seems the compass is the head. The arrow and the leech are his hands. Pet names and secret orders. What a crock. Do we know anything we can act on? The arrow is a Dane who has seen his share of battle. His name suggests he is an archer. <laughs> I bet my knuckles he's the one sowing discord among the Danes that shelter in London. If it were me, I'd hide among my ranks, surrounded by other fighting men. The Arrow has orders from the Compass to recruit soldiers at a market in the West. I know the very place. The Leech has need of flesh. Been looking for thralls, though I cannot say why. We found a number of dead down by the Keys lately, but not thralls alone. Some of the missing we find again in several places, cut to pieces. Good lord, Erke. The compass is a mystery. He is mentioned often, but there is little to go on. Said he was a Frankish captain, did you? To find him, we'd have to mark the ships that came and went along the Thames. Captains are a transient sort. It may be he's far away, keeping quiet. That may be, but would he scream if we cut off his hands? Oh, you've a filthy mind for strategy. We kill the arrow and the leech, then sit back and wait. Let the compass come to us. Let us not waste any more time. We'll find the arrow and the leech. Killing both should drag the compass back into port. So, I will catch you at the western market. Count on it. And I'll make for the keys. There's another few bodies there to fish out of the muck. It could be the leech is back at work. God be with us, friends. Go in his name, and be protected by him.
You there. You. What is it? Do you enjoy flighting? Lobbing insults at one another? I am familiar. Then I challenge you. But be warned, this flighting's like none you've ever known. How is that? For this jewel of flighting, intent is reversed. All rudeness is flattery, a blessing, a curse. So if you seek to harm me, then simply be kind. What a lovely request, from a very sharp mind. How charming. Shall we bet? Here's my wager. After you, friend. I stand here in awe at the charm of your face. You're the picture of elegance, beauty and grace. Well done. I was wrapped with excitement when you came along. Oh, your valor's the subject of story and song. You're wonderful. You've such a great talent for flighting and rhyme. It is truly a pleasure, my partner sublime. You're such a talent. This flighting's been lovely, a wonderful time. You're skilled with your rhythm, as well as your rhyme. It's been a true joy to take a moment away from London's troubles and trials. You've more than earned this. What can I get for you? has improved. Finish looking around. done. else I'm off be well friend show me
lies ahead. my wares. An excellent purchase. This could help you in your travels. This will look very good. You would look very striking with this. Done. I have to go. See you soon. Eivor, welcome to the West Market. A lawman like you could set folks on edge in a square like this. Why not wear a cloak? Hide my face? Not a chance. It does the people good to see a lawman in the hunt. And once we've found the arrow, this order needs to know we'll be after the leech and the compass as well. Any noise yet about the arrow and recruits? I've heard whispers. Somewhere here, a man gives you a coin. And this coin grants you entry to a contest run by the arrow's men. Which man? I see too many here. He's good at blending in. I haven't spotted him yet today. I will sniff around. You stay back. Eivor, what was your impression of Erke? You suspect him of something? I don't know. Whoever killed Trigo was a close friend, and it was Erke who found the body. I know Erke so well, and I can't bear to think you'd do something so vile. But... Then do not. Wait for proof before you condemn your friend. Ah, forgive me. My latest thoughts have been restless. I've been a reeve for so long. Fighting for God's justice. I shed my earthly attachments for his great plans. But, but you could not shed Erke and his friendship. No. No, I'm not sure I could. I should find one of these coins soon. Will you be around? I'll return to St. Paul's just down the road. Godspeed, Eivor. Is that the coin? For the archery contest? Keep off, boyo. This is my coin, my shot. You want one? You talk to my mate Husa, and he'll point you through. We heard the take for this job is three stubs of silver a month. Is that true? No. And they pay you more if you drag your brothers into it. Husa's earned a fortune skimming the docks of London. 
Fico na forda. Respektas poroganes milene. Would help. Shapers a hiran axel. Enatita. Be gone! You reek of someplace else! I have a bow and a body ready to serve the arrow, so why turn away the sharpest eye in Britain? I haven't come this far trusting any old sellsword on the street. How do I know you aren't some rat looking to sink our ship? I would never. A mutual friend sent me. Did he now? And what's our common friend's name? Hussa sent me. Your man in London, Rich. Hussa did? Well, he's a keen one, all right. Has a good eye for soldiers. But do you align with our values? What think you of Outlanders? I'm not fond of too many Outlanders in one place. I never want to be in the minority. Exactly. They must not replace us. <laughs> Yao, you know exactly what we're about. Take this coin. It will give you entry at the Coliseum. Welcome to the Arrow's kinship. With luck, you will gain rank. What's your business? Shooting or watching? You are looking for skilled archers, and now you have found one. This contest is private. Invitation only. Your men are handing out these coins like they were on fire. Is this enough? It's enough to keep us talking. But I'll want to see how well you handle that bow before you go any further. Want a trial round to test your eye? I've had enough practice. Let us begin. A real fanatic you are. Get ready. It's a simple contest here. Hit all targets true before the sand runs down. Here's a new competitor. A Norse from the northern wilds of Mercia. And our current reigning champion, Seyed. All right, take your mark. Hook set! Arrows not fire! <laughs> Hold in, Spear! Did you see that? Incredible! We are halfway down the sand. A cheat! A cheat! It was a fair shot. Carry on! Eivor leads to victory! That's deadly aim you have. Best I've seen for some time. Well shot! You have earned your place at the Arrow's side today. He'll be eager to meet you. Hold yourself to the Imperial Arch and speak with our man, Hussa. Recite the phrase. May the Father of Understanding guide us. And he'll know it's you. Arrow is making his speech at the Imperial Arch. On your way now. Don't swear him! 
a hair and slap me. Bongo! Altaway! Altaway! Asked about this lamp, my friend. Are you Husa? Yeah. And who's asking? May the Father of Understanding guide us. And may the Mother of Wisdom give us strength. You're to stand just there, look your best when the arrow comes forth, and keep still. Friends! Brethren! Good people of London! We have had... a hard week. Cowardly invaders! stole into our governor's home 
and robbed him of his life. Trigger! My friends! My leader! Slaughtered like a dog! By outsiders! By the enemy! Do we expect his reeves to guide us? Some arsed halfwits let Trigger die! They think we're safe! But our governor knew! He confided in me his real plans to protect London! The drunken Danes of Northumbria polluting the north, Alfred and his men of Wessex rallying to the south. Of all this, Trigger said, have gos, what we need now are strong borders and stronger soldiers. Today, I honor that wish. I present to you, good people of London, our new elite archery force. These elite archers will be stationed with our springers, ready to attack invaders by land or by water. Knocked. It's a hard thing to raise the rats of a city into warriors. Hook set! You raised no one. You only trapped them in their cowering fear. Draw strings! First wave fire! No. I gave these men order. I gave them purpose. I showed them their common enemy. Anchor strings! Second wave fire! I was arrow for their rage. Without a foe to consume, we devour ourselves! He speaks true. A man without an enemy defeats himself. Justify all you want. You're just a king killer and a coward. Mighty high horse, you'd do the same if you were me. Aim and fire!
side must be barred. Save me from broken fingers. I have never seen a nun play such an instrument. I learned the tile harper from church. I used it for coin. Turned away from God to a life of sin. The gleeman we were called. The finest bards in all London. Our music moved statues to tears, but no more. The Lord demanded I return to the fold. I begged Izane to join me, but she still toils with devil and drink. Music and dice have led her astray. She and that Kine wolf. All my financial woes stem from their greedy shenanigans. You have debts, you mean. Large enough to send you into hiding. How dare you imply that I hide behind my cloth from men who would break my instruments for a mere fifty silver? Fifty silver I can cover. But for that sum, I want to hear the Gleeman perform together, one last time. Oh, you are temptation wrapped redemption, stranger. I have missed the dice dearly. Perhaps God has other plans. This is not the first time I've heard a skull sing through tears. It's my beloved Ostrid. She loves me no more. Thus my quill stays dry. No poetry falling from its once proud beak. Can you only write verse when you're in love? Surely. I've not written a ballad about God since I was a girl. Only love moves my heart. Some of the best verses I've ever heard were thrown in battles of wit and rhyme. Not lovesick crowing. Oh. I have never seen such a battle. Please, enlighten me. In our battles for glory and blood, we do sing, and give praise to the High One, for Odin is king. 
and we beg that the High One will give us his nod, that we someday might dine alongside our war guard. Yes. Yes, I see the bricks of this verse. Fight, knight, brawl, Valhall... Uh, no, no, no. Odin's Hall. <laughs> Get me my quill. I should like to hear what music you write. Will you perform it somewhere? If I can get Keener Wolf's bastardly face to help me with this meter. But you will have my thanks in this performance regardless. The boats are in the DC. I can run for hours. No, all them. Ugh! <sighs> 
You disagree with the terms of your captivity. If love be a crime, then yes, I do. For I'm only guilty of such a boon. Me, Keener Wolf of the Gleeman. I see. And whose wife did you bet? Oh, the guard captains. And the alewife Luga. And he's an ace muse. But who am I to deny women my company? Hmm? A scoundrel and a poor friend. That may be so, but this scoundrel will play naught but the sweetest music for his freedom. You understand? I, Kine Wolf, have been freed from my bondage and am eternally in your debt. Make good use of your freedom, then. Apologize to your friends and stay out of trouble. Kisane, Kit, and Kine Wolf. That is all the Gleeman. Now we'll see if they play the square. Come one, come all! Friends! Fans! Lovers! You demanded our reunion and thus God has gifted our merry trio with just such an assembly! With fresh poems bestowed on me by a new muse. One with a heart of a warrior and eyes of frost. And two, three. Come one and come all, may he meet up once more inside Odin's great hall. 